guys, welcome to Wild Sides. Today, we are going to be learning how to view the total solar eclipse properly. Let's get right to it. Here is a map of the United States. So Monday, August 21st, a total solar eclipse will happen. There's something called the path of totality, which sounds pretty epic. The path of totality is the path of where it will be completely dark during the daytime. It's kind of like a second nighttime. It is 70 miles wide, starting in Oregon, ending in the Atlantic Ocean, somewhere in South Carolina. So it kind of looked like this. So what we have here is roughly the path of totality that will, ha that will happen. So our moon is in Arby's wrapping, and our sun is a light. And it goes from coast to coast, Oregon to South Carolina. What's crazy about the path of totality is that everything, it's like a second nighttime. All the animals think it's bedtime, and all the nocturnal animals, they come out. What's also really cool is you can see the stars. Don't worry, if you're not in the path of totality, you're still in the path of something very awesome. Every person in America will see some percentage of this eclipse. And the easiest way to see the solar eclipse was with a pair of ISO solar eclipse glasses. Don't I look cool? The only thing I see is this bright orange dot in the sky. Everything else is completely black, except for the very lighting behind the clouds that you can see. it When it goes behind the clouds, you can hardly see it. So cool. When it comes to viewing with glasses, you have to have the special glasses. The, you can tell through special glasses if it says ISO 12312 approved. So, sunglasses will not work, and welder's glasses or mask, that won't work either, because then you'll go blind and you'll miss the super awesome total eclipse. Another way to view the total solar eclipse is the pinhole method, or if you want to use the correct and fancy term, the projection method. Very simple. Piece of paper, not very big. Piece of paper, pretty big. So what you're going to do is you're going to poke a hole like this. This is bad, too big, and it's kind of rigid on the sides. So that won't work. Right here, too small. This one, too small too, and way too small. Then this one's perfect. You're gonna hold this white piece of paper out to where it's completely white and shiny. Then you hold the one with the holes in it right out front. So you take your perfect circle, which would be right here, and then you look at that. And as the solar eclipse is happening, you can see the moon, the shadow of the moon, coming right into that, your little pinhole view. And that's, a really cool way that you can watch the total solar eclipse. And now, my favorite way to view the total solar eclipse. First, eat a nutritional breakfast. The whole point of that was to get a empty cereal box. My personal favorite Fruity Pebbles. This one's for you, Mom. So the two of the box can make a really cool solar eclipse viewer. So first, open it up, and we're gonna take this part off right here, leaving the middle intact. You can use scissors or you can just rip it, but since we have scissors, we'll use the scissors. So now we will take a white paper the size of the bottom of our box and put it in the bottom of our box. So you could put a piece of tape down in there to hold if you want. So now we will take the middle of our box and tape it. So now you will take a piece of tin foil and cover one side. And then tape it down. So now you will take your poker device and poke the aluminum foil right in the center. And then you take it out. 
So welcome to the Fruity Pebble Cinema. Today we will be watching the total solar eclipse. What you're going to do is you're going to face back against the sun. You will look in the hole and adjust it to where you see a very bright dot in there. And when you are watching this total solar eclipse, you'll be able to see the moon moving into and it is very, very cool how it is turning out. And if you ever get bored, you can always do the maze. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to safely look at, watch, look at the sea. My name's Jack. Be nimble, be quick. See you guys next time.